Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're playing with a couple cool products uh, that I wanted to really test out to see if there was any difference. So in this video, what we're checking out is the new Meguiar's Detailer line. I'm actually a huge fan of this just whole look and the Detailer line. My nose is itching because we just did it. Anyway, this is their iron removing spray clay, which is really cool because it's an iron remover that's designed to be used as a clay lubricant as well. So essentially you spray it on the paint and as it's reacting, as we're, it's bleeding and we're getting that purple uh, reaction, you can clay the car at the same time. So you can do a chemical and a physical decontamination of the paint at the same time. Pretty cool. Anyway, this spray clay is a 32 ounce bottle, can be picked up at your lo local auto parts store and Amazon, uh, and is gonna set you back about 20 bucks. I think at my local auto parts store, it was like $22. But when I looked on online, it was right about 20 bucks for this 32 ounce bottle. And then we're gonna be comparing it to, to one of my favorites, the Meguiar's Ultimate All-Wheel Cleaner. Now this is labeled as an all-wheel cleaner, but what I wanted to do in this video and what my thought was, was I already know this works super good on painted surfaces. How well does it compare to this? Because this 24 ounce bottle, that's right, 24 ounce bottle on Amazon is gonna set you back about 13 bucks. But when you go to your local auto parts store, at least at mine, this was about $8 or $7.99. So eight bucks compared to 20, though you get a few more ounces. What is that, like six more ounces, eight more ounces? Eight more ounces, but it's like, triple the price, double the price, a little bit more. I'm not a math person, okay? Anyway, in this video, we're gonna put it on this white car, see which one does better, and if there's any difference between the two, and then at the end, I'll let you know which one I'm gonna pick up. Okay, so on the right side, we'll do the new iron removing spray clay, and on the left side, we'll do the ultimate all wheel cleaner. I know what people are gonna say. It says wheel cleaner. I've confirmed with the people at Meguiar's you can use it on paint, okay? They, the reason why they don't recommend it on paint is because it has that clean ability or that clean formula, I guess. And so it won't work as good, but if you look at this one now, this is foaming. So that's the iron removing spray clay is foaming. And according to the Meguiar's people, at least as, it, as I understand it, how about that? As I understand it, Gosh, it's virtually the same, uh, at least in the, the foaming aspect of it. Um, but the iron removing spray clay may be a little less aggressive because it's recommended to actually use it as a clay lube. And then, so you, as it sits right now, then you would clay as you're doing it. Now, I don't love that idea, to be honest, and these are, these go on so similar, it's crazy. And the reaction is so similar, it's even crazier. So, let's see, 32 ounce and a 24 ounce. So the iron remover spray clay, you are getting a little bit more. But from, it was funny, when I did this in a video a long time ago, the, the ultimate all wheel cleaner on the paint, in fact, on the same car, people gave me so much crap because they said you can only use it for rims, and so I verified that you can use it on paint with Meguiar's and they said, oh, we just don't recommend it because you know, it's not as efficient because it foams and blah, 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 and it sticks and blah, blah, blah. And then the iron removing spray clay kind of does the same thing. Look at the difference that we're seeing right now though. It's runnier, it's starting to run the spray clay. Again, just looking for differences. At least the spray clay is running a little bit. So maybe that's what they're talking about. But as this sits longer, it's starting to do that too in the areas that I kind of foamed it up um, or sprayed a little bit heavier there. I don't, I mean, man, that is so hard to tell. So close to see if there's any difference as far as how it's reacting. I wonder if we spray a little bit more on each side if we're gonna get a difference. Let's do a dual spray. <clears throat> So both reacting incredibly well. I mean, I've been a, been a big fan of the Ultimate All-Wheel Cleaner for a long time. Just, I was sitting there going, hmm, is there any difference between the spray clay? And from what I'm seeing, 
there's really no difference. They're, they're both virtually identical. They both made my nose itch too. All right, so what do you think? In my opinion, they weren't really any different. So here's, I'm probably going ultimate all wheel cleaner. I just like it. It's, I think it smells nice. Not that this one smells horrible. I just, I don't know. I've always been a big fan of this one. It's a little bit cheaper, though you get a few less ounces. But in my opinion, I'm going with the ultimate all wheel cleaner in this situation. There really just was no difference in person. And I know the camera picked it up. It, the cleaning formula, I mean, there was really no difference in my opinion. So that's, I'm going with this one. That's my opinion. But I'd love to hear your thoughts, feelings, and opinions in the comments below. Let me know which one you're going to pick up. Um, I'm sure you could use this one as a clay lube too. I'm, I'm, I highly doubt there's something magical in this that does that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button on your way down to the comment section and I will catch you guys in the next video. See ya.